All right, in this lesson, we're going to create these property lines uh, in Revit using the Entering, Bearing, and Distances tool. So I'm in Revit, and I'm in a site plan, and all I've done here is brought in two images of the survey. One is as it is on paper, so it's easy to read, and the other one is oriented uh, to north, so it actually is in the real world, in the real property. And if we look at the survey, what we have are descriptions of the property lines. These are called meets and bounds. And because we have this data, because we have this information, it's going to be very easy to enter our property line uh, at the Massing Insight property line tool and using create by entering distances bearings. But first, let's talk about what this actually means so that we know that we're entering the correct information in that chart. So this text at each property line that looks kind of like coordinates, these are the surveyor's descriptions of the shape of the property, and they describe it by the orientation and length of all the different property lines. So if we start with this line right here, what it's saying is that you've got a line that starts out heading directly north. You rotate it 61 degrees, 51 minutes, 0 seconds to the west, and that line is 57.82 feet long. So if I actually draw this out with a detail line, I'll draw a line that's heading straight north, and I'll make it 57.82 feet long, and then I'll rotate it. 68 degrees 51 minutes west and that is going to be 68.85 degrees because 51 uh, there's 60 minutes in a degree so 51 divided by 60 is 0.85 I didn't do that off the top of my head so we have a line that looks like this and you see it's, it doesn't match up that's because this image of the uh, survey is not oriented to the north if I bring it over here to the actual correctly oriented one you see it more or less matches up with what we'd expect so if I do another one, let's say south 2230, west 86.11, what I get is a line that I'm going to draw south, 86.11 feet. I'm going to rotate it 22.5 degrees to the west. So it'll look like that. And if I move that one into place, you can see you start to build at the property line. And this is just for demonstration purposes. You can continue doing that if it's fun, but we're going to use the property line tool instead. So back in our property line tool, we're just going to pick one line and just go around in order. So the first one is going to be 57.82 feet. And you got to use the decimal because if you did 57 space 82, it would make it 57 feet and 82 inches. So just make sure what you're entering. So it's going to be 57.82. It's heading north. It's going to rotate 68 degrees, 51 minutes, 0 seconds to the west. And so in this case, we can just do 68 space 51 west. And then just continue around. So insert a new line. This one will be uh, north 2230, 87.47. So the distance is 87.47. It's heading north. You rotate it 2230, and you rotate to the east. So the next one is going to be 57.8 feet long. It's going to be southerly. It's going to be 67 degrees 30 minutes to the east. And then the last one is over here. It's going to be 86.11 feet south, rotated 22.30 to the west. And when you have all your property lines in, just hit OK. And there it is. And the placement doesn't matter for right now, but we know that that's more or less the orientation that we expected. So if we bring our property line up over next to the survey that's correctly oriented to the north, we can see that it matches up. And you can also tag your uh, property lines if you want to. That tag is located. Uh, if you load a family, you've got to go to your imperial or metric library, annotations, civil, and choose the property line tag. And a quick note, it will only work if your project base point and survey point are, uh, are showing. If it's hidden, if these are hidden, the tag won't work. If you found this video helpful, please visit hyperfinearchitecture.com slash Revit to learn more about the professional courses I offer. I teach about how to use Revit for residential architecture projects. I've got one pro course that's about new construction, basically everything you need to do to model and document this house from the ground up. And this property line video is the first in a new series I'm doing about uh, existing conditions, alterations, additions, and those type of issues. Thank you.